sports fans, thanks for joining us. With Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan, and it's time for NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. Now let's check out the State Farm starting lineups. First for the Knicks, Nate Robinson is out there with Tony Douglas. And at the center position, the number four overall pick back in 2001, the 6'11 big man, Eddie Curry. Then it's Wilson Chandler, and it's Lee in at the four spot. And then for the Houston Rockets, Brooks out there with Tracy McGrady. They've got cool hands. A big game for this young man making his NBA debut. Then it's Shane Battier, and it's Scola in at the power four. The Rockets, like a number of teams from the West, were able to hold their own and post a good record against the East last season. It wasn't the mark they needed to sneak into the postseason, but they had to have liked how they played against the East. the Rockets win the tip stolen by Robinson now running up the court Robinson pushing it up so the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there well you don't get to make it to the NBA if you're Nate Robinson's size unless you're tough and that's what Robinson is I mean he's a guy who is fearless on the court he'll take big shots he'll attack the rim and as short as he is he's got an extremely strong body so he's able to absorb contact and still finish as thick as he is tall, and that makes him really tough to deal with because of that low center of gravity. He's a power plug, a fire hydrant type guy. Cock diesel is what we call him. Well, a record for the Rockets against the East. Clark, you're right on the money, 11 and 7. A solid mark for them, and about what they did the year before, too. Now, Steve, they've got to improve on that. Well, they've got to improve somewhere, uh, somehow, because, you know, they continually end up in that ninth or 10th spot in the West. They're good enough to compete, but just not quite good enough uh, to get over the hump. So adding some extra wins versus the East this year would definitely help. And here are the Knicks now. We're about one minute into the first. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Yes, Kevin, I had a chance to catch up with Kevin McHale. Offensively, he knows their shots are going to be challenged inside, going up against a team with some shot blocking in the middle. He said they have to keep the ball moving, and he's had them practicing their in-between shots as well. Guys, those shots can be tricky, but very effective when a shot blocker is around. Back to you. Okay, Doris, thanks. It's almost like a crucial aspect to enabling your offense. You first have to go down the stifling defense, don't you? Yeah, and I think the key, Kevin, is being the aggressor right from the outset of this game. That means being in attack mode and not passing up any good shots that you get early. And so here is Houston. The Knicks making the shot. And that one's good. McGrady. Now three out of four from the floor, so a good start for this club. Well, Tracy McGrady early in his career was a superstar, a two-time scoring champion. Nowadays, more of a complimentary player, but definitely an effective one. Here's McGrady, the Knicks making the shot. And here's Brooks from outside. Good, and it's McGrady who picks up the assist. Brooks has got his first bucket of the game and he's on the board for three. Knicks have gone four of four to start. So a nice offensive rhythm to start here. Talking about McGrady, some teams were ambivalent about you know, signing him because they weren't sure he'd, he'd be willing to accept the lesser role. Well, I think he's proven that that wasn't the case. He has accepted the lesser role. And his ability to handle and create for others is always an asset you'd like to have on the team. And he can definitely be effective setting the table for his teammates. So to his credit, he's accepted where he is and has helped his team. Excellent job carving out space under the glass to make that putback possible. Robinson with it. Guarded now by Aaron Brooks. Douglas the pass to Robinson. Kicks to Douglas. From the arc. It's blocked. And now Brooks running the floor all by himself. That's grace over power, guys. With that finger roll, get some two points. Impressive stuff. It was a season of highs and lows for the Knicks last year, and one of their lows was how they played when they were on the road. Just not up to their standards. Houston making some changes. Landry comes in for cool hands, and Trevor Ariza has subbed in for Tracy McGrady. The Knicks also changing it up. Darko Milicic, she's checked in for Curry. 
Harrington comes in for Lee. And it's Juhan in for Tony Douglas. Juhan with the ball. Brooks covering. Here's Robinson. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Duhon. And it was the play of the Knicks on the road that really you know, took them back and forced them to scramble Clark just to get in the playoffs. It was, uh, it was tough for them, Steve, and, and, but they got in and, and unfortunately losing in the first round to Miami. Yeah, but going 14 and 19 just isn't going to get it done. I, I think it was a good indication that the Knicks just weren't quite good enough last year. You know, they made the playoffs, but they didn't do anything. They've got to improve their performance on the road this year and take that next step as a team. And there's the foul. It'll go on Aaron Brooks. That's his first foul for the Rockets. Cool hands checked in for Landry. And Tracy McGrady subbed in for Trevor Ariza. And then for New York, Lee's checked in for Milicic. Molinari comes in for Al Harrington. And Tony Douglas is subbed in for Chris Duhon. He's got to be very careful here because he's already got two fouls here in the first quarter. The Knicks shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And that just has to improve, guys. I mean, the free throw shooting is something that has to get better. You're immediately putting yourself at a disadvantage when you shoot that poorly from the line. Now, here is McGrady. Seven points in the game. Gets it to go. McGrady's got nine. Boy, he's been so cool out there. Composed, never rattled. I mean, a very steady contributor to the offense. Here's Robinson. Six points for him. From deep three-point range, and that's not going to go. The basket's coming early and often in the first quarter. 